one of my worst nightmares happened. This is the reality. Moving out cupboard. Isn't that clever? The work tops are on. We're all suffering in this household. An exclusive performance from Anne-Marie. It was a really surreal moment. Like I definitely had a bit of imposter syndrome. Where's my little poodle gone? Such a glamorous life. Absolute roller coaster. I'm kind of scared to say it because I don't want to speak too soon. Hello everyone, welcome back to another little video. This is not really going to be a weekly vlog, kind of. It's Wednesday and I'm in a really good mood today for the first time this week, I can't lie. I have had <laughs> a very stressful week, but this morning I woke up feeling so much better. Good news all round today. The only negative in my life right now is that I feel like I'm coming down with something. I've got a bit of a sore throat today, so gonna keep this relatively brief this intro that's a lie i can never keep anything brief yeah i just feel a little bit like you know when you're tired a little bit run down i feel like i might be getting a cold which is annoying but not the end of the world i've escaped the building work it's super loud at home today so i've come up to the office this afternoon and can you hear that that silence is so nice the sound of a wall being chiseled out will haunt me it's so loud it's such a horrific noise as well it's not even just like i can deal with a bit of soaring and a bit of hammering or whatever but chiseling out a wall not nice anyway i know that the main reason i'm in a good mood today is because i actually went to an event last night i didn't have time to vlog before i went but i did film it on my phone so i'll insert that footage at some point in a second but basically youtube were hosting an event they've started doing this thing called a creator collective meetup so it's basically like they get a bunch of creators together it's a chance for everyone to mingle and it just makes it feel like such a community i think they might have realized that for youtubers obviously our community is online so i think well it felt like they were trying to bring that in person and it was such a lovely event we actually started out at the mandrake hotel where we just did a little bit of i wouldn't even call it networking just socializing it was just really casual really nice spoke to other creators got to know new people they gave us an icebreaker where we had to choose two people that we hadn't spoken to before and give them our top tip on working with brands and i thought that was such a good idea because it gave everyone a focus everyone got involved it was so so fun there was some delicious food there i had a lovely mocktail they did have champagne but i was feeling a little bit boring <laughs> no i'm not gonna lie i was having an anxious day yesterday i felt fine as soon as i got to the event but i thought champagne's not gonna help so much so for keeping this intro brief right um but anyway after we'd done quite a lot of mingling socializing chatting getting to know each other we actually walked over to a different venue which was in tottenham court road over to the youtube festival and oh my goodness the sugar babes were a surprise guest and then Anne marie performed and i love Anne marie i think she's so cool like her music isn't like exactly my taste i'm definitely more of like a harry styles adele kind of person my boyfriend laughs at me because i only listen to harry styles and adele and occasionally one direction i can't help it i'm set in my ways but i do love Anne marie i think she's hilarious on tiktok i do like her songs don't get me wrong and it was such a good vibe there everyone was dancing it was a really intimate venue you know those times when you look around and you think i actually love being alive that sounds really deep but you know when you just feel content that's how i felt last night but anyway i'm rambling way too much i've been talking for five minutes but i'll put the footage from last night's event in here hello hello coming at you with a voiceover so i was just fixing my eyebrow on the train and i realized this front camera on the new iphone is absolutely insane i was fascinated here's a little bit of scenic view for you and here's some not so scenic view at liverpool street walking down to the tube to go and hop on the Lizzie line. Then I arrived at the event and how cool, that was right by Tottenham Court Road. I had a little stroll to the venue and this is Lucy. I'm the creative marketing lead at YouTube. Um, I work across a lot of our programs and campaigns that support all of the amazing creators that we have. So we're a bit of YouTube, we've got some amazing creators in the room tonight from the campaign. After a little bit of mingling, we walked over to Tottenham Court Road and how cool was this YouTube screen? We headed into the second venue of the night and guys, I was not prepared for this. These 360 screens, have you seen it yet? It's like, where's Wally? Oh my goodness. That's me, that's my face, that's my quote that I say in every video. Honestly, the imposter syndrome was real. And then we watched some performances, so here you go. Me, 
yeah, so I felt very special. I could not believe it when my face was on that massive screen at Tottenham Court Road. I was like, what? I walked in. And not gonna lie, I was a bit embarrassed. Like I wanted to get a picture next to it so bad, but I didn't want to be that girl. It was a really surreal moment. Like I definitely had a bit of imposter syndrome. The whole night, to be fair, I was kind of thinking like, why am I here? Like, <laughs> why have they invited me to this? I don't know, I don't get it. But I guess I'm a little bit kind of out of like the event loop. Since before COVID, I hadn't been to an event. I don't think anyway. Not a proper like networking, socializing event anyway. So yeah, the nerves were bubbling yesterday during the day. Barely ate anything all day, but it ended up being a really lovely evening. So this is your sign. If you've got something coming up in your life that you're a little bit worried about, I was gonna say don't worry, but that is the worst <laughs> advice ever. Allow yourself to feel the worry, but know that you're gonna be fine in the moment. For me, it's always the lead up to an event or to whatever is occurring. Oh, what's occurring? Once I'm there at the occasion, I'm always absolutely fine. I can kind of like flick a switch in my brain and kind of turn on my confidence, which is something I've definitely learned to do over the years in this job. I used to live by the saying, fake it till you make it, when it came to confidence. And I did that for a really long time until it actually just turned into real confidence. If you've got something that you're worrying about that's coming up, fake it till you make it, and eventually the confidence will be there. You've just got to keep practicing. I love the outfit that I wore last night, actually. I'll put a picture on screen here. These trousers are so comfy. They're from Stradivarius. I'll link them down below. They've got an elasticated waist. They're so comfy and casual but they do look a little bit smarter as well so then my t-shirt was just like a short sleeve kind of slinky top you know that was from boohoo my blazer is from pretty little thing i want to say and then i just wore some nike trainers with it oh and my sunglasses in this picture are from key australia i'll link all of that in the description so yeah thank you very much to the team at youtube for inviting me to that event last night it's absolutely mental so surreal to be a part of and i just feel so lucky to be part of this community like how is this my life? I do feel like a bit of a Hannah Montana, I'm not gonna lie, because last night it was like fancy hotels, free champagne, not bad that, but free mocktails, an exclusive performance from Anne Marie. And today, here I am, gonna pack my orders for me small biz. Gotta stay humble, right? I like to film a little ASMR type of clip of me doing this, but I get so worried because the customer's address is here, and obviously I don't wanna put that in the video. So I have to cut between clips where I'm moving the paper. So here we go, I hope you appreciate this. I have a 40% sale on with Sunnyside at the minute. I think I mentioned it in my last video, I'm actually not sure. Um, but yeah, throughout October, it's 40% off. Wow, this camera angle, Han, what are you doing? 40% off for the whole month, so it has been quite busy. Well, it's been very busy actually. <laughs> but if you've got a dog and you've wanted to try a Sunnyside product, now is your time. For the 31st of October, my friends. The little blankets have been so popular because they're normally like, I want to say around 23 pounds and they're like 14 pounds at the minute but i really have not got many left so be quick battery is flashing which really is not ideal however i actually got the iphone 15 pro max last week or the week before and i haven't really compared it to the canon g7x yet so maybe this is a good chance for me to switch over for a little while let me know what you think in the comments down below like if you can see a noticeable difference maybe i'll put them side by side for a little bit until this camera runs out of batteries yeah let's do that let's do a little comparison here we go right i'll put on screen which one is the camera and which one is my phone day two in the big brother house and I still feel a little bit rough not gonna lie but I don't feel any worse than I felt yesterday I'm kind of I'm cruising <laughs> hopefully not on the path to a cold but yeah I feel a little bit ropey 
Anyway, today, this has just arrived, and if you're a dog owner, you know that Lords and Labradors is a dog brand, and now, I probably didn't need this. In fact, I definitely didn't need this yet, anyway. In my delusional little brain, I'm doing this for my mum and dad, so obviously, they're having the kitchen redone right now, there's actually builders in this second. So that is the intermittent banging and hammering that you can hear in the background. Obviously they're paying a lot of money for this new kitchen and Sonny's crate lives in the kitchen. My mum's sneezing downstairs, if you can hear that. We're all suffering in this household. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah, Sunny sleeps in the crate normally. She will be going back in the crate. I know the situation right now isn't ideal. I'll insert a clip of what her crate looks like currently here. And it's always been fine, don't get me wrong. I don't hate it at all. I don't mean I don't love the crate cover. It was just an Amazon one, but it works. It keeps it nice and cozy for her. However, I don't want that crate to ruin their brand new kitchen. And also when I move out, I was gonna buy this crate anyway, I'll be honest, and I was gonna leave Sunny's crate that she's got currently here at my mum and dad's house so that if she comes for a sleepover, I haven't got to bring the whole crate with me. So I ordered the new crate, the new crate cover, a new bed for her, which is exactly the same as the bed she's got now. But again, I thought I haven't got to bring her bed with her for a sleepover. She's just got everything she needs here then. I'm definitely making excuses and I just enjoy spending money, <laughs> especially when it's on the dog. So let's set up the new crate. But I'm so excited to show you this because I've wanted one of these for a really long time actually, because it's so beautiful. She's looking at it like that. Better not be for me, Mum. Her crate is a love-hate relationship right now. Her end of the deal is the hate bit. Sorry, for some reason my camera just stopped and I had to format the memory card. No idea why, because it wasn't full. But I didn't know that this crate actually comes with a bed. I mean, obviously Sunny's spoil and she's already got a memory foam dog bed on the way. But that's perfect, because when I next do a dog's trust drop, I can take it with me. So obviously I've gone for the silver crate, just because one, my mum and dad have got silver handles on their new kitchen and I'm pretty sure I'll have silver handles on mine as well when I redo my kitchen. Don't get me wrong, I love gold hardware on a kitchen, but I feel like it's really hard to find a gold tap. So for me, I think I'm just gonna be going silver. But you can get obviously the standard black one from Lords and Labradors. This isn't gifted or anything, by the way. I've paid for this. I've been wanting this for ages. Or you can get the silver like I've got, or you can also get a gold one, which is beautiful. But I just wanted it to match the kitchen. That's like the main purpose of getting this new crate. And then, Oh, this crate cover feels so nice. If you haven't got a dog, you might be thinking, why do you cover it up? That seems a bit cruel, but actually it helps the dog feel safe and secure when there's something around it. I mean, you can just use a blanket, just chuck a blanket over the crate, or you can get these crate covers that fit perfectly. Although I wish it had like a little fastening this side. I might have to put a little stitch in it. I can't actually remember what this crate cover is called, but I'll link all of this in the description down below. I feel like it's called the plush cover or something like that. You can get their name embroidered on this top bit here as well if you're feeling really bougie. Oh look, little window. Obviously the door shuts like so. So obviously we use Sunny's crate this way, so this door is accessible. But you can also, there's also this um, side flap, so you could roll that one up. If you've got like a space where you want to use the crate that way, there is a door on this side too, but we've never used that. I just wish, my only thing is, I wish there was like little poppers down here so that I could keep that closed. But I can probably add them myself, to be honest. Quite handy with a needle and thread. I love it though, it's so cute. It's gonna look so much nicer in the new kitchen than her old one. Do you love it? Excuse the fact I haven't made my bed, guys. This is the reason why I haven't made my bed. Because Sunny has been sat here all morning. It's 20 past 11, Sunny. You are so lazy. I think she likes it, well. I think you'll learn to love it again. You have no choice, I'm afraid. I forgot to say the most important factor. This is the 30 inch crate. It's the medium one from Lords and Labradors, which is the same size as their last crate, in case you're wondering. This is the reality of having your kitchen done. I'm not gonna lie, I have never been more grateful that my mum and dad have got a caravan and we've got it at home at the minute. So I've been preparing and eating breakfast, lunch and dinner out in the caravan, which thank God, because obviously we don't have a kitchen. We don't have an oven. We don't have a microwave. We don't have anything in the kitchen it's literally a bare shell like it may as well be a completely empty room which isn't ideal like you try and cook in an empty room it's impossible i don't know what we would have done 
without the caravan because this kitchen renovation is taking so much longer than I think any of us expected. We first cleared the kitchen out like mid August. It was just after my birthday. Just making my breakfast, don't mind me. Got some natural yogurt, little bit of honey's going on. And obviously it's now mid October, so it's been two months living like this it's not fun i cannot wait for the kitchen to be done putting some chia seeds on now i didn't really know what chia seeds were good for everyone just put them on their breakfast so i started and then i thought actually maybe i should google this turns out they like basically absorb all of the food in your stomach and it makes you feel fuller for longer i mean i'm just using them because i've bought them <laughs> but that is quite handy and i have found that this breakfast is particularly filling got some defrosted frozen fruit as well to go on top there she is breakfast is done but yeah at least i have a space that's not full of building work can actually prepare food in by the way if you mix this all together it tastes like a miller corner it's like a massive miller corner it's unbelievable all i can say is thank god for the caravan otherwise it would be pot noodles for dinner every night for two months straight i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast well it's basically lunch oh my god it's actually midday i've had a slow start to the morning i can't even lie sunny keeps me company out here every day of course don't you my love my little breakfast lunch and dinner date you're the best, aren't you? Keeping me company. I'm back with another voiceover and I've put a few clips together of the kitchen progress. So I wanted to explain what's going on. So this was where we were at at the end of September. The walls were plastered, they were painted white. The lights weren't fitted yet. You can see we were still choosing on a color for the walls as well. But the main prep on the walls was done by this point. Obviously the old kitchen is gone, but the floor had been ripped up. All the plug sockets hanging out. Definitely not looking its best, but good progress was made from the old kitchen. This is the laundry as well, same vibe. Walls already, lights hanging out, plugs hanging out. A couple of days later, the floor was skimmed by the flooring company. So this is just like the base layer of concrete that goes down to make sure it's all level. Not gonna lie, the floor looked so satisfyingly smooth when this was done. Another couple of days later and the walls were painted and the lights were fitted. So the color we went for was actually called Caramel Sand 6 from Dulux. It's a really light color, but this was just the first coat. At the beginning of October the units start going in so I mean this felt like quite a slow process to get to here but from here on in I feel like it's going to get quicker the laundry units were in place nothing was attached yet this was just like the placement of the units for now a couple of days later the units were fitted to the walls you can see that both sides they're nice and secure this is the oven housing the pull out pantry cupboard I feel like by this point it was starting to take place walking through to the dining area we've got the base units in down this end as well ignore those units it's on the left they're just spare units that are there for now here's another overview from this angle of what it was starting to look like with the base units in and then about a week later we're at this point so all the plug sockets are in the light switches are in it doesn't look like much progress has been made but it has obviously the wall units are starting to go on as well here they are by the window i absolutely love these rounded corner cupboards and this is in the laundry too so the boiler is actually being boxed in so that will look like a cupboard which is so nice and by this point all of the units are fitted to the wall Stay tuned for another little update towards the end of this vlog as well because big progress happened. I've got a new coat and now I'm ready for it to be autumn winter. I wasn't fully on board with the weather change until this arrived and now I cannot wait. How cozy is that? Oh my god, I'm actually obsessed with it. I've wanted a North Face coat since the winter before last because I have my trusty Levi's puffer jacket which I've had for probably seven years now but it's just past its best. It's looking a bit worse for wear. So I thought I'd get a new one this year. And I think North Face are just the coats to go. They are so warm. My Levi's one was really warm as well, but I just needed an upgrade, I think. It's got zip pockets, which is so handy. It's got this massive hood. I actually ordered two different ones. I ordered a different one to this. Um, and then I saw a TikTok saying that the hood was rubbish. That one hasn't arrived yet. And then all the comments on that TikTok said, this is why you get the Himalayan one instead. That's what it's called. Himalayan Down Parker. And the hood is so so big so cozy i got it in a size medium i need to take the label off but it's got elasticated sleeves and i saw some people pull the waist in and then they tuck it up to be like a cropped puffer jacket not mad at that but i mean it is mostly for dog walking so it's not exactly a fashion statement but i do love it and now i'm so excited for it to be cold and i can go out in my cozy little coat if the pockets are like lined as well they're nice and soft I'll link it down below. See if there's a discount code you can find anywhere. I used a discount code that my friend had and I got 10% off. So I saved myself like 30 quid because these are expensive. But so worth it. 
I'm already boiling and I've only just put it on. This is what the back looks like. Bring on the winter storms. I am ready. The weather today, guys, autumn is really autuming and I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of loving it. Although I've definitely come down with something. I've done a COVID test and it's negative, so it's just a cold, but I'm like nice and cozy in my jumper one minute and the next minute I'm absolutely boiling. I'm like, get this jumper off me, but it's not hot. Um, so yeah, I think I've got a little bit of a temperature or something. When I woke up this morning, my throat was a little bit more sore than yesterday. So I've just had a coffee and I feel a little bit better for it. I feel like you can kind of hear it in my voice that I'm not 100%, but I don't feel horrendous. Anyway, this week was Amazon Prime Day week. What was it called? Big Deal Prime Day or something like that. Um, and obviously, well, not obviously actually, I don't think I've mentioned this in the vlogs. I definitely mentioned it on my Instagram story this week. I'm kind of scared to say it because I don't want to speak too soon. But we all know the situation. Bought my house a couple of years ago and there's been a family living in it. They wanted to buy somewhere eventually, but I said to them, look, there's no rush. It's a massive thing buying a house. It's got to be the right house for you. They've got two kids as well. So it wasn't just a case of like, I buy the house, they go out and rent somewhere else. I know it's not as easy as that. So, and to be honest, I kind of wasn't ready to move out, especially two years ago anyway. So they stayed in the house for the time being, but they have now found their home which is so exciting for them it's been a process that's been going on for obviously quite a few months now because the process of buying a house takes a long time but they exchanged their contracts this week when was it tuesday and they're completing at the end of this month and moving out this month in october which is insane. I mean, it might take them into November a little bit. I said to them, I know it's not gonna be a case of like an overnight move, however long it takes you is fine, but they want to be out by the end of the month. So I could be getting the keys to my house this month, guys. If not, it will be like the beginning of November. I think it's probably gonna be end of this month though, or like the very first week of November. And then the renovation vlogs start straight away. I'm not gonna be moving into the house straight away. I probably won't be moving in until early next year because first of all, I wanna do like all the dusty work on the house. So I wanna rip the kitchen out, rip the bathroom out, completely replace them. All the flooring throughout the house needs redoing, painting, decorating, learning about DIY as I go. And obviously I'm gonna film all of it. And I'm so, so excited for that content because I love watching that content. And I feel like it's been a really long time coming. Like obviously I've been doing YouTube for 10 years now and I've like documented every stage of my life, but I've always looked forward to the stage where I move out and I can film that. Didn't think I would be doing quite as big a renovation job on my first house as I will be doing, but it's gonna be so fun to document. Anyway, I digress, that was a massive tangent. What I was gonna say is it was Amazon Prime Day deal week thingy this week. So my boyfriend and I got a few bits for the house because we will be living together. We bought a couple of bits on his Amazon account just because I was out on Tuesday. Um, so we bought a coffee machine. What else did we buy? A spice rack. I'll leave everything linked that we bought in the description down below. The spice rack is like one of those twizzly ones. It's a Schwartz one. Oh, we bought a utensil set for £20. How good is that? And there's so much included in it. And then on my account, we bought a, for the coffee machine, because the coffee machine is one with pods. It's the same coffee machine that he uses in his family house and he really likes it. So I was like, we just get the same one. That's fine. And it was so much cheaper. It was like over half price on Prime Day. Also bought this drawer to keep all the little pods in. And then the coffee machine sits on top of it on the worktop. How cute. Obviously all of this stuff is going to be just put into my moving out cupboard until next year when we actually move out. I don't know, as soon as we get the keys, I guess we can like fill up the garage with our stuff. Oh yeah, and then for Christmas, his mum and dad have very kindly got us an air fryer, which we're so excited about. So he's got that at his house. My mum and dad so far have got us a kettle and a toaster. The to Sorry about that. We're having our kitchen worktops fitted today and the guys have just arrived to fit it. So Sonny's gone down to say hello. Um, yeah, so my mum and dad so far have got us a kettle and a toaster, which have also been put away for Christmas. And then the last thing I got us, if you watch my vlogs regularly, you'll know that I've got a bit of a vase addiction going on. I keep seeing on TikTok that these fake white tulips from Amazon are really realistic. So I've got a pack of these and I just think on the table they're going to look so lovely. I mean, not going to lie... The green is really greening. <laughs> That's the only bit that kind of gives away that it's fake. But I guess it's going to be in a black vase anyway. So hopefully that tones down the green a bit. But they feel like kind of rubbery. Like if someone was to touch them, they'd be like, are they real or not? Do you know what I mean? They're not fabric. So these came in a pack of, I think it was 24. Not too sure. 
and they were only a few pounds off but I thought might as well save a few pounds they're usually like 15 pounds and they were 12 or something like that did you say hello to the builders she barks she has to go down and say hello and then she's like not bothered anymore she went for a groom this week you can probably tell she looks so different when she has a groom she looks like a little lamb look at you look at your little bare tummy i love when her curls start to come back if she goes out in the rain she goes curly again where's my little poodle gone you're giving cava and not a lot of poo she loved her new crate last night for the whole 20 minutes that she stayed in it we're definitely gonna work on that my love the new bed arrived as well to go in the crate last night so i'll show you the entire bed set up it looks so cute and cozy in there for a cute and cozy girl. I've been meaning to show you this for I kid you not, like this whole week. This was another Amazon purchase. If you've got dogs, if you've got kids, if you like to treat yourself, I would highly recommend this. So every year, Sunny has an advent calendar, but she doesn't really like the advent calendar treats. She used to, completely went off them last year. I had to empty the advent calendar, throw away all the treats and put her own treats in it. And I thought that was a waste of money. So instead, this year and going forward, I bought her a wooden advent calendar. How adorable is that? You put little batteries in the back as well and it's got some lights that light up in the little houses. But I've just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna buy this, it was like 25 pounds. Dog advent calendars are like nearly a tenner anyway. And I'm just gonna put in each one either a treat of hers that she likes or a little toy, I mean, you're not gonna fit a toy in that, are you? So I'll probably stick to treats. But she could have a different treat every day. And I just thought this is so much better. Not gonna be wasting my money. I can get it out every year. And how beautiful will that look like on my windowsill or something? It's so sweet. I just love the vibes of it. You know me, I love a neutral. This cupboard here in my bedroom is the designated moving out cupboard. I'm trying to keep like as many big boxes as I can. Sorry if you can hear the builders, by the way. They're cutting the... um worktops yeah i'm trying to keep as many big boxes as i can and just trying to make it easy for myself i mean i'm not gonna lie they're not organized i have got like decor bits in this one um this is like kitchen cups mugs glasses and that one is completely random vases are down here actually it's not that unorganized it has got at the bottom this big old plastic box cannot remember what's in that i'll be honest i think there's a slow cooker in there but who knows And that is why it's hard to vlog at home at the minute. Constant building noise. It looks super dark in here right now because I'm actually about to leave. Um, but I've come up to the office this afternoon. I've just done the orders for the day. Sunny is here with me. I thought I'd bring her with me today for a change of scenery. She's been at home with my mum because my mum's actually not very well. So she's been playing doctor. Doctor, if you will. Yeah, she's been keeping her company, but I thought I'd bring her out. Obviously, she's had her normal walks twice a day and stuff like that. She just hasn't been to the office for the past couple of days. She's had a couple of days off. Anyway, I have done all the packing. The orders are behind me here. Having a much more productive day than yesterday. People often compliment me about how organised I am, but let me tell you a secret. It's not that I'm organised. I have the worst memory ever, so I have to write down what I'm doing every day, otherwise I will not remember it. So as soon as someone asks me to do something, or I get a vintage order or whatever, I have to put it on my to-do list for the week. And my to-do list is split into days as well. But I actually started to edit this vlog earlier this morning when the worktops were being done, because I kind of needed to like make myself busy, shut myself away at home. So I started editing the weekly vlog, and I realised that at the very beginning of the vlog, I mentioned that I was having a stressful couple of days, but I didn't say why. The reason for that, one of my worst nightmares happened. My Instagram account permanently deleted. What now? So basically, I woke up on, I think it was Monday. Yeah, I woke up on Monday, it was all fine. About Monday lunchtime, I just went to click on the Instagram app as normal. I'm so addicted, it, that's one thing it's made me realize. Clicked on the app and it came up, we've suspended your account. I thought, hmm, weird. Messaged my management straight away and it gave me the option to appeal the suspension so obviously i did that filled out a little form they reviewed it and said ah uh ah -uh. computer says no we have now permanently deleted your account i said what i don't know what happened they briefly said that i had broken community guidelines and or was impersonating slash wasn't an authentic account i felt like phoning them saying hello instagram 
hi, it's me, I'm the problem, it's me. It genuinely is. But for a whole 48 hours, me, my management, two of my friends were helping. I had about six people on this job. No one could get hold of anyone at Meta. Terrifying. I sent emails. I found Meta employees in the UK on Instagram. I messaged their personal accounts from the Sunnyside account. Literally no response. Um, and then I woke up on Wednesday and I had an email that said, sorry, we made a mistake. You can log in now. <laughs> you couldn't write it. It's happened to a few influencers recently, but not just influencers, like um, people in the public eye. Like it happened to Amy Childs. Her account got taken down. There's at least three people I know of who lost their account temporarily. So weird, I don't know what it is. Anyway, my Instagram is back. I'm happy again. It sounds so stupid to be stressed about an Instagram account because it's such a, not even a materialistic thing. It's not even material. It's just social media. But when your job is creating content, Instagram is my second biggest platform. Like obviously YouTube is my number one love you youtube and if it had happened to my youtube channel oh my god i don't even i would have been sobbing don't get me wrong i was still upset about my instagram but my first thought was at least it's not youtube don't tell instagram that they might take my account again yeah it's such a massive part of the job that i thought thank god i'm not relying on instagram for an income because unemployed if so but it's back i'm happy again and i'm verified now does it make me cringe a little bit having a blue tick yeah it does because I'm literally the most average human on the planet. But when you're verified, you get a one-to-one -one meta contact, like a support line, basically. And I just feel like if I was verified before, that wouldn't have happened. So out of fear, I now have a blue tick on Insta. Please, no one judge. I'm still humble. I'm still me. I'm just, I'm just Hannah from the block. Promise it won't change my ego. Anyway, on that note, I'm going home to have a cup of tea and a bourbon. You know that girl on TikTok that says she's got her baby from a random man in Atlanta and she's always got loads of bags? That's about to be me. I've got my work bag. I've got my dog mum bag. I've got my bag of returns. I've got another boohoo return. I've got my post giving camel <laughs> i think camels are the ones that carry a lot ain't they bethlehem is that the story unsure sunny i cannot carry you as well so you better walk down the stairs today on your own watch her say denied such a glamorous life come on pip squeak off we go such a good job i've got muscles for days this is so heavy are you coming should we go home brb gonna put all this in the car and then come back for the princess diva God, it's windy. You come in? You are a pickle. Say, I won. <laughs> Mum carried me. Someone boring you. So sorry. Realised I didn't show you Sunny's crate setup. So this is what it all looks like all together with the new bed in it as well. It's the same as her last bed, but yeah. Did I mention? I honestly can't even remember. I bought the same one so that this whole setup will come to my new house and what was here will stay at my mum and dad's just collapsed down um, for if she comes for a sleepover, if I go on holiday or something like that. I've kept her same blankie in there but I do kind of want to rebuy this in grey. It's just a furry baby one from Amazon. She's had it since she was a puppy. Since she, the day she came home actually, she's had this same blanket in her bed. Same with the water bowl which I just feel a little bit so she doesn't fall asleep in it because I worry about that. Overthinking dog mum and Lammy of course but I love the silver love the plush I'm really really happy with how it's turned out I think it looks adorable and it's gonna look really nice in the kitchen as well I'm glad it's not gonna like ruin my mum and dad's new kitchen speaking of the devil I was just showing everyone your Lammy who's coming <laughs> oh look at him out of his bed wow kisses for Lammy Oh, lovely. Sunny's the kind of dog who gets bored very easily. And she also gets bored of playing quite easily. I mean, she'll play for about half an hour, then she's over it, but she wants to do something. So quite often I'll try and teach her a trick. And our latest one, I think it's the most impressive so far. I mean, not gonna lie, it's not very out there. We've got a couple that are a work in progress, but she's absolutely nailed this one now. So I thought I would show you because she's learned to play dead, which in theory, very weird that she does that and that I've taught her to do that. But also I haven't quite taught her not to wag her tail when she does it, but I think it's quite cute. You try your best, don't you? Sunny, sit down. No, <laughs> nearly. Bang. Good girl. <laughs> 
see what I mean about the tail. How do I teach her not to do that? She's just happy. I think it's a good thing. Bang! Good girl, Sunny. And she also knows wait, so I can get her to do it for longer. Bang! Wait. 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 Good girl! Isn't that clever? Are you clever? Sit. Paw. Paw's easy, isn't it? Down. Roll over. Good girl. Bang! Uh, bang. Wait. Wait. Good girl. <laughs> she loves learning and I feel like it tires her out quite a lot. So if you've got a dog, just like YouTube or type in on TikTok tricks to teach them and it's a really good way to entertain them. And obviously they're learning at the same time. Kisses. Ah, oh, that's another one. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't say it yet. <laughs> Kisses. Thank you. This one's a work in progress. Sunny, say bye. Good girl. I'm trying to teach it like without my hand there. You're doing so well though. Who's the best? Me. <laughs> Big progress on the kitchen today, guys. The worktops are on. My dad started putting the appliances in. Ignore the fact that this old door is on the dishwasher. It's because it's an integrated dishwasher, so it doesn't have like its own door. As soon as the cupboard doors go on, obviously this will be changed. But the wall units are up. The worktop is the big thing, really, that's happened today. It only took them an hour and 20 minutes to fit this entire worktop and the edges and the three window sills. Obviously, this side as well. Cut the holes for the appliances. We've also got a little bit of worktop over here. They did these edges too. And out here in the laundry, this has also got the worktop and the sink in there. Obviously it's not all connected, it's not even a tap. But the hole for the sink is cut, it's in. This windowsill is done. I love how the windowsills match the worktops. I think I definitely want to do that in my house. It looks so nice. And then also around this side, these two doors will open together and they'll also be attached to the fridge door. But that is our fridge and then the freezer is in this one. And then yeah, back in here, the oven is in and the plate warmer. And then in here is a combi oven which has the microwave in it as well this is going to be a pull out rack for spices beans my mum wanted a gas hob so we stuck with the gas hob looks super smart though and then obviously just take these bits off to clean it so it's finally starting to feel like a kitchen again and not just a building site hello hello it is friday evening and i feel like i've filmed a lot this week so I'm actually not going to vlog tomorrow. I'm going to spend my Saturday editing the rest of this vlog. Sunny's here next to me. We've been out for a walk since I last picked up the camera and got drenched in the rain, which was lovely. But I don't know about you guys, I'm absolutely loving the fact that it's full on autumn now. I was so over that October heat wave. I'm gonna run myself a nice bath. Just taking off my eyebrows, don't mind me. I'm still feeling a little bit coldy, so I'm gonna have some cold and flu tablets, have an early night, get into bed, watch the last episode of sex education because i'm 20 minutes into it and haven't carried on with it for like a week i'm gonna put a face mask on as well this one from the body shop it's the tea tree face mask it's the three-in-one wash scrub mask but i never use it as a wash or a scrub to be honest i only use it as a mask it's the one that i had on at the end of my vlog last week and i've really felt like the day after i used it my skin felt lovely so i'm gonna try and make it a weekly thing it smells exactly like tea tree oil obviously because it's a tea tree face mask oh i hate having a cold it better get going because i'm going to a wedding on thursday which i'm so excited about i love going to weddings this week has been an absolute roller coaster starting off with my instagram being deleted feeling like i'd lost my career then going to the event on tuesday and feeling like on such a high and so lucky to be in this industry then getting ill and feeling run down and tired but i feel like we've ended the week on a good note sorry that i'm not looking at you while i'm talking by the way it's because i've got my little mirror down here so yeah sunny's down here with me having a nap as always and i think that is it from me this week guys if you made it this far into the vlog this is your secret sign to leave in the comments down below the word face mask comment down below and i know that you made it to the end you're a trooper if you did do subscribe stick around join the fam but anyway my loves thank you very much for watching i hope you will have a lovely week next week and i will see you again on sunday for another little video bye guys love ya